right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson, first and praise on in glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. For God's people here for a bit, um, y'all let me know if y'all can hear me. Give me a um, one, a one in the chat if the sound is clear. Give me a one in the chat. Let me know the sound is clear, man. You know. Hey, we, we, we one day closer. Everything's good. Oh, yeah. Shalom, shalom. Shabbat. You know what I'm saying? Look, we one day closer, kind. We one day closer, man. Got to gotta get it in through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. We, we one day closer. The scriptures tell us to be occupied in prophecy. Like, like I said before, this is a quick little lesson through the spirit of the Lord. One of the elect of the nation of Israel is edified, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Adam McGinnis. We're at the end of this devil's rule. Sleazy e Esau e the so called white man with the end of their rule, man. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. I'm trying to bring this. And these lessons that we do only for the elect, I gotta say that again. These lessons that we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel. So let's get this. And the wind's starting to pick up or whatever. All of a sudden, the wind is starting to pick up. But look, we're gonna see if we can make it through. This is um, Isaiah. Because contrary to popular belief, this devil is about to come in with great rab, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. So I want to rule. This is pretty much a lesson, just comforting, comforting the, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, right? So let's get this. This is Isaiah chapter 35, verse 3. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, always worried about something. Say, this devil is trying to make it um, pretty much... Um, he, he's not going he's not trying to make he's going to make it a digital currency man you know that grain of rice that um m i c r o c h i p he's going to make it mandatory that you take that grain of rice right so this whole system is changing over you're not going to you're not going to be able to buy with and sell with the dollar anymore everything is turning digital right and and, and going right back to revelation the 13th chapter you're not going to be able to buy or sell without the um the m-a-r-k right so, so, I'm, so i'm gonna read this and then i'm gonna then i'm gonna read that too matter of fact before i even read that let, let's just read this i want to read two quick precepts and then i'll come right back to that i will write this i'll come right back to that this is on revelation chapter 13 verse 16 and he calls of all who is the he that is talking about the elites the bank the banking families right the elites the ones that run the society right the Rothschilds, Gaddies, Bloomberg's, Oppenheimer's, so forth and so on, right? And he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, no matter if you got money, a bum on the streets. I mean, the majority of the Israelites that watch us week in and week out, you already know what this is talking about. But for the newcomers, we're going to break down what this scripture is talking about because your pastors and these false prophets are not going to break it down the right way, right? And he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, whether you locked up or you out walking the streets because... There's reports, you know what I'm saying, of um, people that's being locked up, um, receiving early release if they take that M-A-R-K because it tracks you. It lets them know where you at at all times. And say like you got like 15 years, they say, look, look, we'll cut five to 10 years off your sentence if you take this grain of rice, right? So, so of course, a person, you know what I'm saying, logic will tell you that this person is going to take it, man. If, if the only thing they're gonna do, you know what I'm saying, just monitor you, and you get to walk around the streets, they cut 10 years off your prison sentence, oh, oh yeah, most definitely, you're gonna take that grain of rice, right? It says free and bond to receive a mark, karagma, an incision in the printed mark, where? In their, in their right hand or in their foreheads, right? And the only thing you gotta do is look up the meaning of that word in the Greek. It's karagma, man, an incision in a printed mark, a cutting in the flesh, right? Pretty much somebody's in it is a is really pretty much inserting some in you, right? And look, and this is the thing that they're gonna insert in you, this is what it's gonna do. Look, that no man might buy or sell. So with the thing that they're gonna insert in you, it's gonna allow you to buy and sell. And the Israelites that are hearing about this, it's, it's fearful right about now. This devil's getting ready to come in with great wrath, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. And this is what he's gonna make mandatory real soon. That grain of rice, right? What it say? And I brought out, I brought this out the other day, but we need to bring it out more frequently. Speaking code, of course, but we need to bring this out more frequently. Cause look, it was on the news. Um, when I was getting dressed, I think it was yesterday morning. They brought it on the news, man. 
But oh yeah, it's June. It's June, oh it's June. Come on, man. C-H-I-P-S is everywhere, man. But oh yeah, it's June, all right? Let's get it again, Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. See, right about now, it's not mandatory right now. They're making it as like, um, you got some old people, they pretty much, um, they can't remember things. They might walk out, and, um, uh, what is it, all timers? But you can't really remember who you are, where you stay, and things of that nature. You got a whole lot of old people that got all timers, so they're saying a good way to know, saying help out with the people that got all timers is to insert this um, implantable device. You know what I'm saying? AKA that mark, that grain of rice in them, then we can locate them. We can find out where they at. Just in case they wander in the streets and you don't know where they at, right? Or or or, or kids. Your kid. You know what I'm saying? Put this in your kid, then if somebody kidnap or something so on, you can always find out where they at, right? This is this is how they try to promote it. But soon come, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna make it mandatory, right? It says, um, and that no man might buy or sell. So once again, you ain't gonna be able to buy food. And Lord willing, y'all can hear me. I mean, the wind's starting to pick up, so Lord willing, y'all can still hear me through the wind or whatever. But you ain't gonna be able to buy or sell. Look, this is in the process. This is in the making, is man. You see, We're, like we usually say, this, this is coming. No, no, it's here. It's here now, right? It says, um, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark, the karazi, that, that grain of rice, the incision, the cutting in the flesh, an object. Look, look, which, which is physical, not spiritual. You got, you got these Israelite groups, these false Israelite groups that are saying the um the mark of the what well, the M A R K of the B's, the M O T to the B B B is is spiritual. No, it's carnal. It's, it's it's actually something. It's a physical mark that they're gonna put into you, right? And you know I gotta speak in codes. You know I gotta speak in codes. Is this that no man might buy, sell, save he that had the mark, meaning that karagma or the name of the beast, or the number of his name, but it's penalties. It's penalties according to the Bible. If you take that karagma, that grain of rice, it's penalties for that, right? You won't get the penalty for that, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep rolling in the spirit. This is on Revelation, the 14th chapter. Because remember, this devil said you ain't gonna be able to buy or sell unless you take that grain of rice, right? But this, this is what the Lord said, right? Because remember, the scripture say, never trust thine enemy, so this devil might say, look, if you take this grain of rice, then I'm going to feed you. But we already know, man, never trust this devil. Never trust your enemy, right? So this is Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man, any Israelite man, woman, or child, right? The Hebrew Israelites, because the Heavenly Father don't care nothing about these nations, man. They, they're like a spit unto them. I want to see if I can get a precept. Bear with me. I'm trying to multitask. I want to bring out this Isaiah right quick. Just proving, according to the Bible, that these heathens are nothing. I'll just prove that right quick. So when the scripture says, if any man um, received that um, karagma, it's talking about the Israelites, right? And let's just prove this right quick. This is Isaiah. Isaiah um, 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. And they accounted to him less than nothing and vanity. So these heathens, they could take that grain of rice. These heathens, they could take that karagma. Because the Lord said, look, y'all are nothing to him. And counted less than nothing to him, right? But as far as in the Hebrew Israelites, we're the chosen people of the Lord. Matter of fact, just bring, just bring out another precept. Bring out another precept. Let's see. Let's get that, um, that dude around me right quick. Like I said before, I'm just flowing in the spirit, man. I got a couple, I got a little time to kill. Do this lesson, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Lord willing, the elect is edified. This is Deuteronomy. I can go to the, I'm going to go to 14 right quick. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 2. For thou art in holy people. Matter of fact, before I even read that, let's read Deuteronomy chapter 1 first, and then I'm going to come right back to 14. Just to prove who 14 is talking about. Because if I read 14, somebody gonna get on the comment board and say it didn't say Israel. So we're gonna prove who the book of Deuteronomy is written to. This is Deuteronomy chapter one, verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Did you hear that? These be the words that Moses spake unto all Israel. People before us a place, right? 
on this side, Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tapel and Laban and Hazaroth and um, Dizahab. So what I'm getting ready to read right here in the 14th chapter, you know this talking to Israel, right? These be the words that Moses spake unto all Israel, right? So let's get this. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. Meaning the Israelites, the Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all nations that are upon the face of the earth. So the Lord just laid it down right there once again. He don't care nothing about these other nations. So these other nations, they can take that grain of rice. They can take that karate, right? But but the Israelites, what again? Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, and it reads, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, meaning this system, and his image, and receive his mark, see, they got that mark again, karate, right? And receive his mark. We got demons stirred up. Demons stirred up. And receive his mark in his right hand or in his forehead. That karagma, that grain of rice, that incision, that imprinted mark. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. And the devil said, You ain't gonna be able to buy or sell, eat, go in the stores, go in the bank, and all that without receiving that mark, right? That karagma. But this is what the Lord is saying. If you take that karagma, right? You Israelites to take that grain of rice, this is what the Lord is saying to you. Revelation chapter 14, verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture in the, into the cup of his indignation, meaning his righteous anger, and he shall be tormented. He or she, to take that grain of rice, shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So what, what is that going into? The ICBM missiles hitting this place. Millions of missiles with multiple warheads in it. It's gonna hit this place soon. Come and the Israelites that take that grain of rice, you're gonna burn over here. You're gonna burn over here in front of the holy angels and in front of the lamb. But the scriptures tell us what? Let's, let's go. I want to get this too. This is um you got a, you got, a, you got a, um, another um um JC lover. Yeah, see our people don't know nothing about um Yahweh Shai. So they're worshiping all these false gods. And somebody put that up on the comment board. Make no mention of these other gods' names. So see, we make mention, when it goes into um, make no mention of these other gods, it's pretty much don't worship. Don't bow down to them. Because, of course, we got to tell our people don't worship Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, the Hindu god of Shiva, JC, the so-called white Jesus Christ. The Lord, like, Yo, don't even, don't, don't worry about all that. Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai, right? That's the true living power names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. I don't want to get this though. This is Isaiah chapter 41, verse 14. Fear not thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. So when this devil says we ain't gonna be able to buy or sell, lest we let we take that grain of rice, the Lord like, don't worry about that. I got you. Don't even worry about that. Once again, fear not. Matter of fact, let's jump here. Isaiah 41 and um you see, 8, Isaiah 41 and 8, But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away, fear not, fear thou not. For I am with thee, so no matter what type of wrath this devil come with, the Lord said he's with us, man. We just got to have faith to know that and to trust in that. And look, and we don't supposed to lean into our own understanding either. I want to get that and I'm going to come right back. Yeah, this devil coming down with great wrath, this dude bugged the hell out of there too. Jake just bugged the hell out of there, man. Let's get this. This is um, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not into thy own understanding. So yeah, this devil coming in with great wrath. He's going to make it mandatory that you take that grain of rice. But what is the Lord saying? The Lord said, don't lean into your own understanding. Yeah, this devil saying you ain't going to eat. You ain't going to buy or sell. But what, what did I say? What, what was written up in the scriptures? Behold, my servants are going to eat. The servants of the Lord are going to eat. The brothers put that up yet? Yeah? yeah, brothers put it up. Um, Exodus chapter 23 verse 13 it says in all things that I have said unto you be circumspect and make no mention of the name of other gods 
neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. Now this dude on the street, you know what I'm saying, is preaching Jesus, Jeebus, you know what I'm saying? And they love that name, man, for real, for real. That name has been seared with a hot iron in their head, man. So when we bring out Yahweh Shai, matter of fact, we're gonna prove what the name of the Lord is just with just one scripture right here. And, and I'm gonna go right back. I know y'all hear that Jake bugged the hell out, man. Jake has really bugged the hell out, man. Everything was all good till I, till I turned that camera on. St. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And Jake doing all this speaking, but they ain't got no... The scriptures say, um, Isaiah 8, 20. If they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. If you're going to be speaking, you, look, you got to make sure you back it up with the scriptures, right? This is St. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yehoshai, who they ignorantly call Jesus, right? For he shall save his people from their sins. His people, man, not the whole world. The Lord ain't coming back to save the whole world. He's coming back to save the elect of the nation of Israel. The same people he would sit down here to die for, right? So let's go back to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call God and Jesus, with all thine heart, all your mind. And lean not into thy own understanding. So when this devil, you know what I'm saying, make it mandatory that you take that grain of rice, trust in the Lord. Don't lean into your own understanding because leaning into our own understanding got us in this predicament that we're in now. Slave ships, first ones fired, last ones hired. The, the whole shebang, you know what it is. You see the state of the Israelites, man. Israel, Israel gone. You got, a, you got a bug out right in front of me. A bug out right in front of me. And we're going to read on, though. We're going to get distracted by that nonsense, right? Going right back, Isaiah 41 and um, 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. The Lord said he's our power. You know what I'm saying? The creator of the heavens and the earth, right? It says, I will strengthen thee, yea. I will help thee. Even, even in, our, in our darkest hour, the Lord is going to strengthen us, man. Through the Spirit, and Lord willing, we have that number. The Lord is going to strengthen us, yo. Might either go a couple days without food. Might either sleep in the woods and all that. But the Lord is going to strengthen our spirit. Because it says the, um, the flesh pretty much um, dies daily. But the, um, the spirit is renewed day by day, right? Just roughly paraphrasing. And somebody can put that up if they want to. He says, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. See, because look, your enemy is not going to help you, but the Lord said he would. The Lord said he would, and he will. He's been helping us the whole time. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has been helping us the whole time, man. The Lord said, I, I ain't going to forsake you. And, and I'm going to get this in that pocket for two. I'm going to get this in that pocket for right quick. Let's get this right quick. Jake bugged the hell out, but it's all good though. Somebody gotta play that part. Let's get Sirach right like quick. You trust in the Lord, right? This is what the Lord said. This is Sirach chapter 2. Oh, look, this dude said God wants you to control your own mind. Well, we just read, trust in the Lord with all your mind and lean not into your own understanding. That's why you gotta come out this Bible, man. Every time we say something, you gotta come out this Bible, right? This dude said the God of the Bible wants you to trust in your own mind. But what did I just read? That's a cut on him. Proverbs 3 and 5. Well, let's get this though, because we ain't going to worry about him. This is Psalm Sirach, chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see. There ever any trust in the Lord? We've got to trust more in the Lord. And not lean into our own understanding, right? It says, look at the generations of old and see. There ever any trust in the Lord? Yahweh Bashim Shai, And what's confounded? Or did any abide in his fear? And what's forsaken? What, what is the answer to those two questions? No and no, right? It says, um, or did any abide in his fear? It's all about fearing the Lord and what's forsaken? None. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgiving the sins, and saving in the time of affliction. Because that's exactly what this devil coming with affliction, persecution, man. And the Lord said, when the persecution comes, I'm saying, look, trust in me. Don't lean into your own understanding. Trust in the Lord. Jake bugged the hell out for real, for real, man. It just, it, it just had to happen when I came out here, right? So let's go back to this right quick. Proverbs one more time. So once again, this devil's going to make it mandatory that we take that grain of rice. He's, he's going to try. The whole earth is going to be tried, man. You see? But the elect is not going to bow down, right? So this is Proverbs 3. And five. 
trust in the Lord, Yahweh with all thine heart, and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, who the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, right? Acknowledge them, and they shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. So the majority of these people are going to take that grain of rice. Because the majority of these people, they don't have faith anyway to believe in the words of the Bible. Now, they might go to this church every Sunday or Wednesday or Fridays or whatever. But when it comes to truly trusting in the Lord, they don't, they don't believe, man. The Lord said, look, let's read this too. I just want to read this right quick. This is Hebrews. Our people, our people love that JC. They love that name, Jebus. You know what I'm saying? Just like that, um, that Latin dude. You know what I'm saying? Jesus saves. No, Yahweh Shai saves. Just remember that, Israel. Yahweh Shai saves. And, and, you, and you false Israelite groups, you know what I'm saying? You leaders, so called leaders of Israel, are still teaching those false names, teaching God and Christ, bless Ahia Shia, and all the other, other rubbish, man. The God of the Bible is going to destroy you. At least you repent, man. And we just read in the Exodus, make no mention of, of the names of these other gods, meaning don't worship these other gods, man. You see? Because they're idols, man. Matter of fact, let's, let's just get that right quick. The gods of these nations are idols, man. Let's just read that right quick. I know y'all hear that nonsense, man. I know y'all hear that nonsense, man. Another Jesus freak, man. This is um, Psalms 96 and 4. For the Lord is great. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is great. And greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Now you got a jake up the street calling on the name of another god. Now, Yahweh by Shemiah was shy is to be feared above all gods, right? It says, um, he is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, man. Buddha is an idol. Jesus Christ is an idol, man. All right? Buddha is an idol. Santa Maria is an idol. The Hindu god is Shiva. The Kemet gods, um, Seth. Things of that nature. All idols, right? For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushua, made the heavens. So who the hell should you be really worshiping? Idols or the, or the, the entities that created everything? I mean, that's a no-brainer. Let's go right here. This is the reason why. This is the reason why our people still worship idols. This is the reason why our people still trust them in their enemy. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. For unto you was the gospel preached. So like it. For unto us was the gospel preached. As well as unto them, meaning the good news, week in and week out. Starting off with the head apostles slash elder bishops, man. We're on the highways and byways, week in and week out, pushing this word, right? And I think 144 just rolled past on that license tag. It says, as well as unto them. The, the hopeful elect heard the word, you know what I'm saying? And, and everybody else on the face of the earth heard the word, right? It says, but the word, meaning the good news, the gospel priests, did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them, they're heard it. So when the majority of our people hear this word, or anybody on the face of the earth besides the hopeful let hear this word, they're not gonna believe in it because they wasn't given the gift of faith to believe in it, man. They're gonna believe in they're gonna believe in anything and everything up under the sun except for the truth. Because the Lord don't want everybody to get this truth, man. You see? It's only for the elect, man. The Lord has blinded the majority of these people, and I want to get that too. They're gonna go, we're gonna be like I said before, we're gonna be all over the place. The spirit is like the wind. So you think you got something planned? The Lord's like, nah, I got I got something else planned. But let's get this. That demon throwing my spirit off. Like the scripture said, wherever the righteous is at, you know what I'm saying? You got Satan in the midst, so it is what it is, man. Oh yeah, we we um somebody can put that up too. We um wrestle not against um flesh and blood. But principality, somebody put that up, Bobby Kashar. Well, I look for the script. I lost my train of thought, too. I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, Hebrew, Romans. The water you have, by Shemir Let's get this. And the phone chimed in. This is um, Romans chapter 11. Yeah, Bobby Kashar, somebody can put that up. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Yeah, yes, yeah, demons out here, bro. You hear them, bro. This is um, but, but look, look, it is what it is. This is um, Romans chapter eleven. Romans chapter eleven, verse seven. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, meaning two thirds of our people. They're seeking for the truth, but they're seeking for it in all the wrong places. They still believe in Jesus Christ, man. Jesus, Jesus, now. 
They still believe in Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria, and all, and all this other nonsense. When Yahweh Shai is the only true savior, man. Yahweh Shai, right? But what it say again, Romans chapter 11, verse 7, What then? Israel have not obtained that which is seeking for. They're seeking for the truth, but they, gonna, they ain't, they ain't going to find it, right? Oh, yeah, they think, the, um, they think the truth is in um, Scientology, Egyptology, and all that other nonsense, right? It says, um, but the election have obtained it. And the rest was blinded, man. The phone keeps chiming in. So only the elect of the nation from Israel are going to receive the truth on this side, man. And everybody else is going to be blinded. Two-thirds are going to be blinded. Up until the day that the missiles hit, because it says in the scripture, I think it's Isaiah, how long, oh Lord, until the missiles drop, until the cities be utterly wasted. And somebody can put it up too. I think it's Isaiah. Somebody can put it up, Bob Kusha, too. Let's see. Oh yeah, according as it is written, the most I have given them the spirit of slumber. The Lord put two-thirds of our people to sleep, man. Spiritual coma, right? It says, um, according as it is written, it's written in Isaiah, the most high Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. That's that's why it's so much of a blessing that we're we have been allowed to receive this word. Because the scriptures say, Blessed are your eyes and their ears spiritually. Matter of fact, let's get that right quick. The same Matthew. The same Matthew chapter 13 and 9. And it reads, Who have ears to hear, let them hear. And I'm going to jump down. 16. St. Matthew 13, 16. But blessed are your eyes spiritually, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Because remember, the Lord said he's going to send forth teachers. They're not going to be removed into a corner anymore. Thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And you're going to hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way. The Lord has put his spirit on us to be able to hear his teachers, man. Remember, my sheep hear my voice. What is that? Is that in Romans 2? Jay still talking about JC, man. I know y'all heard that now. This, this dude said, um, the Lord died for homosexuals. This dude blowed the fuck out, man. This dude bugged the hell out, man. Throwing my spirit off. Let's see. Dude throwing my spirit off. Jay bugged the fuck out, man. Ah, let's see. What was I looking for, man? This demon throwing my spirit off, man. For real, for real. You know. Let's see. Man, get the fuck on, man. Now, let's read this right quick. Let's read this right quick, man. This is um, 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. Did somebody ever put that up? We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Yeah, vain Babylon, bro. I'm just looking through the comments. Bear with me. Yep. Uh, Shalom. I'm GMS Spiritual War. I'm Ephesians 6 and um, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Slock it. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, demons, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, man. And, and, and that's, what you, that's what's going on out here. But it's all good. Let's see. Yep, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 9 through 11. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, and understand not, and see you indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart, meaning the mind of this people, fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they should see spiritually. Shut their eyes, lest they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, meaning their mind, and, and convert. And be healed. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be utterly wasted, man. Until this place is destroyed. Until the cities be utterly wasted without inhabitants. And the houses without man. And the land utterly desolate, man. So that's how long Jake going to stay asleep, man. Oh, yeah, that's it. John. It was John. 
John 10, 27. My sheep hear my voice of the elect of the nation of Israel. They're going to hear these lessons, man. Because the Lord speaks through us. And I want to get one right quick. St. Luke. Yes, yeah, demon time. It's on go out in the demon time. Everything was all good till I turned on the camera. I seen that demon. That demon seen me hop out the car, too. Yeah, that demon seen me hop out the car, but it's all good. Let's finish reading the rest of that. Uh, St. John 10, 27, my sheep hear my voice, and, and I know them, and they follow me, and they follow the Lord. Yep. 2 Corinthians 4 and 3, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. That's right, bro. This is um, St. Um, Luke 10 and 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. So now you got a, um, a demon up there just talking, you know what I'm saying, about nothing, but he ain't got no sword, no Bible, no nothing in his hand. What does scripture say? Um, let's get this right quick. Isaiah. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. These false pastors ain't teaching our people that death and destruction is on the way, and we're in the midst of it. But let's get this though, because my sheep hear my voice, right? That's what the Lord said, right? St. Luke chapter 10 verse 16, he that heareth you, heareth me. This is red letter, Lord, you how shall I speak with it when they call it Jesus, right? He that heareth you, heareth me. My sheep hear my voice, right? And he that despises, despises you, despises me. And he that despises me, despises him that sent me, man. So if you despise us, you're really um, despising the Lord. And if you despise Lord Yahweh, shall you're really despising the Heavenly Father, the Most High Yahweh. Ain't no wins in that. Ain't no wins in that. So let's go back. I want to go right back to Isaiah 41. Lord willing, the Lord to take that demon off the street. It's all good. Unless he continuing on, so it's all good, brothers. A few sisters that's listening in. Let's get this. This is Isaiah going right back. Isaiah 41 and um 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Even even in the time that we get weak, the Lord's gonna strengthen us, man. You see, he's gonna strengthen our spirit to be able to make it through whatever comes our way, right? It says, um, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Now, what's the right hand of the Heavenly Father? Lord Yahweh Shai. What even call Jesus, right? It says, um, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed. The people that came against the servants of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, the teaching this word, the Lord's going to put you to shame, right? It says, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing because the Lord is going to destroy them. And they, and they that strive with thee, meaning fight against us, uh, shall perish, man, shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. You're going to look for the people that try to cause you harm and not be able to find them because they're going to be destroyed, right? Even them that contended with thee, they that, and look, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of not. For, for I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, thy power, will hold thy right hand, saying, un, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thy worm, thy worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. So when this devil come in with great wrath, you know what I'm saying, making it mandatory that you take that grain of rice, the Lord's like, yo, I'm, I'm right here. I'm right here. Plus the Lord said, I got angels and camp round about those that fear me, right? Oh, yeah, and, and delivered them out of all their troubles. Let's get that right quick. Let's get that. This is, um, and we'll come right back. This is Isaiah chapter 34, verse, um, let's see. I'm going to start at 1. Psalm chapter 34, verse 1. I will bless the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. This King David, right? My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. We, yeah, we brag about the Lord. We brag about his um, marvelous works. You know what I'm saying? And his wonderful acts, right? It says, um, the humble shall hear there, thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai with me. Let us exalt his name together. And see, you can't exalt, you can't exalt a name that's, that's not real. You know what I'm saying? Something that's made up. See, the name Yahweh Shai, well, Yahweh, through the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, those names are the names that needs to be exalted. Right? It says, um, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. See how important the name is? See how important the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son is? You see? Yep. 
This man pushing Easter, y'all. Yeah, this man pushing Easter, y'all. This man pushing Easter, y'all. Yeah, bro, yeah. Lord poured upon them the spirit of deep sleep. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Yeah, Job 5, 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch them. Why? Because by the time the seven trumps sound, I'm saying the elect is going to be in the chariots, man. It's going to be beautiful. In famine, in famine, he shall redeem thee from death. When everybody else is starving, the Israelites will take that MOT to the BBB. You're going to be starving out. But the Lord said, what? Job 5 and 20. In famine, he shall deliver thee from death and in war. Because World War III is going to pop off. And from war and um, from the power of the sword, man. Which is sleaze to eat. The sword represents destruction. The Lord said he's going to deliver you. Lord, when are we up that number? From all that, man. Everybody else is really going through it. The Lord said he's going to deliver us. Man, so bad. I want to read that again. This is um, Job 520. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. But, but that ain't talking to everybody. That's talking to the elect of the nation of Israel. So let's go back here. Isaiah 41 and um, 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Then this dude up there pushing um, Easter. This dude up there pushing Easter. Let's go on and cut that right quick. Let's go on and cut that right quick. Colossians chapter 3. Matter of fact, Colossians chapter 2. Let's get it. Bear with me. Colossians 2 and 8. Beware lest any man spoil you, meaning rob you, rob your mind through philosophy and vain deceit after the traditions of men, look, after the rudiments of the world and not after Yahweh Shai. So this dude up there teaching, you know what I'm saying, that Easter is good. Well, the scriptures say don't be fooled, don't be tricked, don't let your mind get robbed through, through the philosophy and vain deceit after the traditions of men, Easter, Christmas, um, thanks killing um, 4th of July your birthday the Lord like yo don't don't get food don't get bamboozled by this group BS and I'm trying to keep it PG by this BS that these false prophets are teaching yo it ain't got nothing to do with the Lord remember going right back to um let's just get this right quick <clears throat> Let's get this right quick. I be, the majority of our people bug the hell out. They can quote scripture, but they're breaking them down wrong. Psalm um, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world. What's part of the world? Christmas. Easter. Your birthday. Your mama's birthday. Your grandma's birthday. All these different pagan customs, right? The Lord like, yo, don't love the world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, and these are the same people that say they love the Lord, and that loving the Lord is wrong, that they don't want to be right, but they're wrong, right? It says, um, for all that is in the world, the, lust, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world, meaning this age, passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the Most High, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh abide forever. So this, this cat up there bugged the hell out. He's bugged out. So let's, so let's go back. I want to go. I want to go back to that Isaiah two, Isaiah thirty five. Cause this devil coming in before I even read that. Let's get, I wanted to get this. I wanted to read this right quick. This is on um, Revelation. Cause this devil's getting ready to come down. Remember. He calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, to receive that karagma, that grain of rice, man. And, and if you don't receive it, you ain't going to be able to buy or sell. Jake just wants some attention, man. That's all Jake want, man. That's all Jake wants some attention, man. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice in heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, which means destruction. This dude teaching, like, this dude pushing a message of peace. The only thing that's coming is destruction. What's up? How you doing? All right. Lord willing, tomorrow. Tomorrow about round three. Yeah. Yeah. Lord's will. You have a good one. Look, man. 
my sheep hear my voice, see the Lord, man. Look, man, these people know who who really teaching the word week in and week out on the on the highways and byways, man. That's why the latest look, she ain't stopped and saying that to that false prophet. She stopped here and said, What, y'all gonna be down there tomorrow? Lord's willing. Lord's willing, man. You see, Jake, Jake getting the word, man. Jake is getting the word. The Lord knows saying, opening the eyes of, of the hopeful elect, and they're receiving the gospel, man. The good news. You know what I'm saying? Um, what would it say um, in, in thy word? Do we hope? Um, our hope is in the name of the Lord. Somebody can put that up, Baba Kishon. This is Revelation going right back. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, I'm going to do about 15 more minutes. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, meaning destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil sleeps and eat. Esau eat them. The so called white man, right? Let's come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. A short time to do what? The rule. You only got a short time to rule, man. So, of course, no saying gonna come in with great wrath and make it mandatory that you take that grain of rice. But we just read, according to the Bible, fear not thy worm Jacob. And I want to go back here. Jake bugged the hell out, man. Jake just bugged the hell out, man. Somebody got to play that role, though. Just thank the Lord it ain't us. This is Isaiah 35, 3. Strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Because remember, this devil coming in with great wrath, right? So our people getting nervous, right? Look, man, when they lock down these cities, and, and Lord willing, I'm going to go to um, 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. I'm going to be all over the place with this. They're going to lock down these cities, man. And it's going to be a doggy -e dog world, and it's going to be really every man for himself, right? More than what you see now. So Isaiah 35 and 4. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance. This man is going to happen. <laughs> These people don't have a clue of what's coming, man. These people don't have a clue, no saying that the Lord's gonna burn this place soon. Come down even down even know, man. Look though, look, we we know. Long, long as we know, that's all that matter, right? We know. Say to them that are of a fearful heart. Uh, the, the uh, heart comes from the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. They're always worried about something. Be strong, fear not, behold, your power will come with vengeance. The Lord is coming with vengeance. We're one day closer. We're one day closer to the Lord coming with vengeance, annihilating and burning this place, Israel. Just know that the Lord's going to come back and burn this place soon. It's beautiful, man. It says, um, be strong, fear not, behold, your power will come with vengeance. Even Yahweh, with their recompense, he will come and save you, even though this devil don't think he is. Even though this devil don't think he's coming. He's coming, man. This dude don't know shit, man. This dude's bugged the hell out, man. This dude's my Jesus is love. Like, like the Lord's one-sided. Let's get this right quick. He said, he said, he said, Jebus, yeah, yeah, you're right. Jebus is all love. Not Lord Yahawashai. Jebus Christ is all love, but not Yahawashai. You see, let's get this. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth. I thought he was all love. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor. I thought he was all love. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. I thought the Lord was all love, though. I thought he was all love, though. Man, Jake just bugged the hell out, man. And the Lord gonna take him out of this earth soon, come down. Everybody got their role to play, man. Let's get this. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no God with me. This dude keep preaching of another God. Well, our power said there's no God with him. It says, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Don't sound like he's all love to me. Perfect balance to sound like to me, right? I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that, that can deliver. It's like him. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hands to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and mine hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to mine enemies and will reward them that hate me. Where's that at? Is, is that in Luke? Luke chapter 9. 
It was, it, that's in Luke's um, mind enemies that didn't want me to reign over them. What is that? Is that is that Luke the ninth chapter? Let me see if that's it. Everybody keep calling about Jesus this, Allah this, Buddha that, and all this other nonsense. Is that it? No, it ain't nine. If somebody could put that up, um, those my enemies. I know it's saying Luke. Those my enemies that didn't want me to reign over and bring hither. But you got Jake still mentioning the names of these other gods and they bowing to them and everything, man. Check the comment board. Oh yeah, yeah, bam. Lamentations 339. Out of the mouth of the most high proceeded not evil and good. Come on, man. Oh yeah, the brothers, the brothers on fire. Kingdom within St. Luke 19. Yeah, 19, not 9. St. Luke 19, 27. But those my enemies, which are two-thirds of our people, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. But I thought the God of I was all love, though. What the hell is Jake talking about, man? What the hell is Jake talking about? And the brother and his likeness. Twenty-six million in Shanghai has already locked down and can't get food, so it's coming here real soon. That's right, bro. Galatians chapter one verse nine. Uh, Hello, too, man. This is um, Galatians 1 and 9 and reads, As we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than, than that we have received, let him be a curse. So that dude, has, bro, that dude, true, man. The Lord cursed that dude. He ain't preaching the gospel like we preaching it. It says, um, verse 10, For do I now persuade men or the Most High? Or do I... Or do I seek to please men? For if yet, for if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of your house shop. That's real right there. That's a bad scripture, bro. This dude gone. Everybody put it up the water too, brothers. Demons out there deep. Yeah, man, you heard it, man. I ain't gonna put the camera on him anyway. I can't. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no need, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, through, bro. Finish. Y'all, I know y'all heard that demon, man. Let's see. Man, Ezekiel 22 and 20. As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to meet and to melt it, so will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, I thought the God of the Bible, and I will leave you there and melt you. Come on, man. You know that's a bad scripture, bro. Yeah, how will my power, Israel? You know that's a bad scripture you just put up there, man. You know that that, that, that scripture right there, like almost burnt the camera up, man. The Lord said, I will leave you there and melt you, man. You see? Oh, yeah, Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. That destruction is going to come. Which say the evils mean the bad times shall not overtake nor prevent us. This dude need to be in a straight jacket too. Isaiah 66 and 16. And it reads, for by fire, um, put up um, 15. Somebody put up 15. Um, yeah, how will my power Israel? Put up verse 15 for us, bro. Baba Kasha. And I'll read that. And I'll read that, Lord willing, man. De death is in the air, man. Death is in the air, man. Straight up, man. Death is in the air. That's what the Lord says. Seek him while he may be found. Yeah, when you put up um, Isaiah 66 and 15, I read 15 and 16. You do, bro. I know y'all hear this. I know y'all hear this demon. He said the Lord died for everybody, man. You know, I got to, you know, he, he said, he said the God of the Bible died for everybody. Let's just get it right, but we're just going to see. Let's see. This is uh, Romans chapter 9. Your brothers put that up there yet? Yep. Isaiah 66, 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to rend his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. But I thought he was all loved, all right? 
for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead, meaning judge with all flesh, and the slain, meaning the killing of the Lord, shall be many. But I thought the Lord was all love, love. I thought the Lord was all love, love. Let's get this. He said, he said, um, the Lord died for everybody, right? He got slew on a tree for everybody. Let's, let's prove him wrong according to the Bible. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in your hour shot. This is the Apostle Paul speaking. I say the truth in your hour shot, Mashiach, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, in his mind, for I wish that I myself were accursed from Yahweh Shai, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. That's who Apostle Paul Brothers is. To whom pertaineth the adoption? Being adopted back to the Heavenly Father belongs to who? The Israelites, right? It says, um, who pertaineth the adoption and the glory, meaning the kingdom, and everything that comes with it, and the covenants, the agreements, was with the Israelites. People getting chased downtown and everything, man. It's, it's wild, it's wilding down here, man. You got this demon right here. You got the police just chase somebody down the damn street. It was wilding out here, man. Just had the police chase somebody down the damn street. Flying like hell. It's, it's demon day today, man. It's demon day today, man. Yo, man. Out here, man. Well, man, a lot going on out here, Jake, man. We ain't seen nothing. Your Lord said tribulation never seen ever on the face of the earth. It's going to fall before all this place, man. It's, it's wild out here, Jake. It's wild out here, man. My father's getting chased up and down the street by police, demons on the street, loud bikes, you know what I'm saying? People just walking past, don't even know what the hell going on, man. It's going down, man. That's why That's why a whole lot of guys don't come out here on the highways and byways and preach week in and week out, man, on the Saturdays, Sundays, or what have you, man, because they got to deal with all these demons, man. And they're scared. So let's get this again. Romans chapter 9, verse 4. Who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law so the law was given to who the israelites is going the apostle paul is telling you who everything is for man you see he says um and the law and the services of the most high and the promises whose are the fathers and and of whom as concerning the flesh yahweh shai came who is over all Yahweh blessed forever, amen. So it just said, you know what I'm saying? It just told you who the Lord got stood on the tree for, for the Israelites, man. You see? The Israelites, man. So let's see what else brothers got. I'm gonna do probably about, yeah, man. Surrounding around demons, man. You know what I'm saying? But let me read this though. I had it earlier, but I didn't get a chance to read it. That demon threw my spirit off. But I'm, I'm back to normal now. I'm back to normal now. This is um, Psalms 34. It's wild out here, brothers. Brothers, it's wild out here, man. You brothers and sisters, wild. It's going down out here, man. I'm going to do a couple more minutes and I'm going to wrap it up. This is um, Psalms 34. And um, Psalms 34 and 4. I sought the Lord. Because remember, seek the Lord while he may be found, right? I sought the Lord. Yahweh by Shemel was shining and heard me and delivered me from my fears. The Lord is going to deliver us from all our fears. That's why we're seeking the Lord. Because the only entity that can deliver you from all your fears is the God of the Bible, right? Now, let me see if I can get to them comments too, man. Yeah, bro. That's right, bro. That's right, bro. I'm saying, um, Light out of uh, lights out, devil. The Lord's prophets are the counterbalance to this dark, evil world. That's right, bro. Psalm, Psalms 34. I mean, this is it's wild out here today, man. Psalms 34. And um, five. They looked unto him and were light, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. 
the angel of the Lord and kept it round about them that fear him and deliver them, man. So Lord willing, we up that number that we'll get delivered from the clutches of this devil, man. You see? We acknowledge our sins that the scripture have said. The Lord put his spirit on us to repent and turn back. It's all love, love, man. I'm just thankful, man, that the Lord put his spirit on me to just keep doing lessons. Well, first and foremost, I'm, I'm thankful to Yahweh by Shemel Shah for my teachers, the apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me to want to consider truth according to the Bible. I'm very thankful. And we all need to be more thankful that, that, that um, Yahweh by Shemel Shah led us to the right teachers. Because, hey, we can have them all purple. I'm saying we can have them all black. We could be teaching a bunch of um, rubbish, man. We could be teaching a bunch of nonsense right about now. But what are we teaching? The truth according to the Bible. The thing that's going to set us free, the truth according to the Bible. We've got to be more thankful, man. We could be like this demon up there, man. Gray shirt. Just want to let y'all see. The one that's doing all that damn hollering. He behind that tree right there. Doing all that damn hollering. Right there with the white pants on. Y'all see. Y'all see. Let's bring it back to me. So lock it. Bring this camera back to me. Bring it back to me. Let's go back. Let's read some more. Um, what was I? I was reading something. I was reading something. Oh, remember the slaying of the Lord shall be from one end of the earth even until the other. But the Lord said, don't fear that, man. Don't fear the incoming of the heathen. Somebody could put that up. Fear not the incoming of the heathen, because they're going to come. This devil going to come. Let's see. Let's read. Um, I want to go right back to Isaiah. I'm going to bring out a couple more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up. This is Isaiah. This dude pushing that love shit. They bugged the hell out of me. Yeah. Bug, bugged out, right? You know what I'm saying? Jake, Jake, no, man. Jake, know this dude bugged the hell out, man. But this dude preaching love, right? This is what the scripture had to say, though. Let's get this. This dude talking about something the Lord is coming with love. Ah, oh, man. This is um Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 7. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 4. And it reads, 5. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shemi, I was shining evil, and only evil, meaning bad times on top of bad times. Behold, it's come. It's like if I'm too close to the camera. It says, um, once again, Ezekiel 7 and 20 and um, 5, and it reads, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shemi, I was shining evil, and only evil, behold, it's come. An end is come. The end is come. The end of this age. It watches for thee. Behold, it is coming. How's it gonna go? How, how's this age gonna go out? By way of destruction, by way of death, man. That, that's how this age is gonna go out, right? Let's jump down. Ezekiel 7, 25. Destruction coming, love coming, destruction coming, kisses coming, destruction coming. Um, um the Lord coming back to love everybody. Is that, that what's coming? Destruction coming, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. And there shall be none, Israel. Brothers lighting it up too. Y'all lighting it up, man. Damn. Yeah, yeah, through, bro. Straight up through, man. 
This man gone, man. Straight up, man. This man own one, man. The Lord said, destruction cometh and they shall seek peace. But guess what? There shall be none. And there shall be none, right? Let's get that Jeremiah right quick. I'm going to just keep flowing in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? To the spirit say, yo, let's go. I want to get this, though. Jeremiah 28 and 8. And read the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old that prophesied. They told you what was going to happen before it even happened, right? They prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's our job. That's our job as servants of the Lord. We, we, we're servants of the Lord. We're prophets, right? Well, our job is to prophesy. Not to tell. Now, look, this message is not a message of love. Peaches and cream and all the other nonsense. No, a lot of people are going to die, man. Right? That's what this message is about. Death and destruction. The scripture say there should be lamentations, mournings, and woes, man. It ain't all lovely, man. All right? For when they shall say peace and safety, and that's what this dude pushing, a message of peace. The scripture say, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction is going to come upon them. As travail upon a womb with child, and they shall not escape, man. This place has a date with death, man. A date with death. Matter of fact, let's get that Amos right quick. Remember, woe to the bloody city is all full of lies and robbery. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 8, and reads, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels. Oh, upon the sinful kingdom, let's turn on the light right quick. Look, it ain't too bright. Yeah. This is um, Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels are upon the sinful kingdom, aka America, right? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. What is the Lord going to do? And I will destroy it from off the face of He's going to love it. He's going to hug it. He's going to heal it. He's going to kiss it. You know? He's going to make it feel good. No, what is he going to do to this wicked sinful kingdom? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So that's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to destroy this wicked sinful kingdom from off the face of the earth, man. You see? Hands down. Hands down, man. He's going to destroy it, man. Everything. Every building. Everything is going to burn, man. Everything. Remember, the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And I got one more after this. He says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. So it's all about that remnant. It's all about that remnant, man. It's all about that remnant. And I want to get that. It's all about that remnant, man. The elect of the nation of Israel. Let's get Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. It was wild like, a few minutes ago, man. End time prophecies. This is um, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3. Look at this demon again. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. So we understand the truth, man. We put our trust in Yahweh by Shemel Shah, so therefore we understand the truth. We know exactly what's going on. We ain't falling for these nonsense narratives. Everything's going to be peaceful, all lovey devin out. No, man. The Lord's going to destroy this place soon, man. We you know it. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> we understand the truth, right? It says, um, and they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with them. For grace and mercy is to his saints. And he have care for his elect. So the Lord only cares about the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Nobody else, man. The Lord don't care nothing about nobody else, man. Too much on the God, the Bible loves everybody. No hell he don't. He only care for his elect, man. I just, I just read it, right? What did it say? And he have care for his elect. Um, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. So that's perfect balance right there. He's going to show mercy to the elect, and he's going to destroy the wicked, man. Straight up. That's, that's balance right there. What else? Five. Was it the the fifth chapter? Was it seven? Oh yeah, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 15. But the righteous live forevermore, and their reward also is with the Lord. And the care of them is with the Most High. Now we just read who he cares about, the elect of the nation of Israel, right? He says, um, therefore shall they, the elect of the nation of Israel, receive a glorious kingdom, 
and a beautiful crown. The 144,000 is going to receive beautiful crowns from Lord Yahweh Shai's hand. Ezra's seen it, right? It says, um, and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he, he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them, man. And what's the arm of the Heavenly Father? His son, Lord Yahweh Shai. And I got one more scripture and I'm going to wrap it up. We got more and more demons coming out. So I'm going to wrap I got one more scripture. And I might get something out the comment board and I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to bounce out, man. Jet out like a thief in the night, like Lord Yahweh Shai. This is um, Isaiah 19. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 19. And it reads, In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt. What, what are those altars talking about? These different Israelite camps, the elect of the nation of Israel that scattered out throughout Babylon. Starting off with the head of apostles and the Lord willing we of that novel. It represents those altars, represents these, these different camps. It's teaching the truth according to the Bible. It says, um, and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. And it shall be for a sign. You want a sign? This, the, the sign is these different Israelite camps on the streets, right? Teaching the truth. And it should be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt, Babylon, America. For they shall cry unto the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. Remember, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Now that dude, he done lost steam. But the man of the Lord, we keep bringing it out, bringing it out. See, now I can stay here for another three, four hours, but I'm not. But the Lord, we, we, we gaining momentum, we gaining, gaining, gaining steam. Um, through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy right with that demon losing steam because he ain't got nothing else to say. It says, For they shall cry unto the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah was shy because of the oppressors, and he shall send them a savior. He shall send them a savior, not the whole world, and a great one, meaning Lord Yahweh shy right, and he shall deliver them, man. And that's what's going to happen in these times, in this generation. So until the Lord come, I'm saying, Lord willing, we just continue to keep pushing His word. It's a blessed word through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, because the Lord is on His way. The Lord is on His way, man. I ain't gonna be the dead horse. I mean, it's more and more scriptures, you know what I'm saying, that I could bring out. Our power is coming, though, man, with vengeance. The Lord's gonna come with the multitude of angels, too, to destroy this place called America real soon, in our lifetime. And, and look, and ain't, that, ain't that a beautiful thing? Ain't that a beautiful thought, Israel, that the Lord is coming? real soon and we ain't gonna have nothing to worry about we ain't gonna be paying bills in the kingdom either we ain't gonna be paying our rent and the lord deliver us lord willing we up that number into the kingdom we're not gonna be paying rent we're not gonna be worried about child support we're not gonna be worried about fucking nothing man. you know what i'm saying just number smooth sailing we just got to make it through this part to see if there's any precepts before i go Yep, that's what I wanted. Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord. See how important that name is? Gonna, these he, everybody's going to fear the name of the Lord, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy sleeps to eat, Esau eat him, come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. What is that talking about? The spiritual power. The spiritual power, man. Yep. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. I was going to go into that second edge of the 15th chapter, but I'm going to wrap it up. Yeah, bro. Yep. Second edge was 8 and 1. And he answered me saying, The most I have made this world, Sleaze and Ease world, his rulership, his kingdom for many. But the world to come for through, man. And the world to come when Lord Yahweh shall establish his kingdom on earth. It's for through. Man, that was a bad one, brother. Brother's hitting it hard today, boy. As always, though. Yeah, bro. Second Ezra 9 and 21. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a great of the cluster and a plant of a great people, meaning the elect, the elect to preserve. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. Two thirds were born in vain, man. And let my great be kept and my plant. For with great labor have I made it perfect, man. It's beautiful. Let's see.
Yep. Um, I think that's Second Ezra. Ain't that Second Ezra the second chapter? Second Ezra chapter two, verse forty um, three. And in the midst of them, a young man of high stature, I mean the Lord Yahweh shot, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly, man. Ezra was at, was at awe, man. When Lord Yahweh Shai was crowning the men, the elect men, the 144,000, the elect men that was preaching this gospel and it stood so stiffly for the name. I read that already. Yep, bro. Hebrews 10, 37, for yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. That's Lord Yahweh Shai. That's who we waiting for. Yeah, that's who we waiting for, man. Lord Yahweh Shai, though it tarry, wait for it, because surely it will, it will surely come. It will not tarry. And Lord one of the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. Look, the water for all the items that came through with all the scriptures and the comments. You know what I'm saying? I, I truly appreciate it. But I'm going to go ahead and murk out. You know what I'm saying? Bounce out here back to the crib. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Hey, with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. Next double honors to the other apostles slash other business of great millstone. The one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere actors. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God. So people here for a bear. Look, look, one day closer, man. DTA a Bob a ball. Soon and very soon. Shalom. Shalom.